Dragon Feather, and um, I'm here to make a video on relationships and paganism. Um, I saw a video on this by the Shoe Whisper, and she inspired me to do a video. Um, so I'm gonna do a video because I can. But before I start, and I really don't like doing this. Like I really don't like promoting things on my channel that really have nothing to do with my channel. But if you guys have a Facebook. Um, I'll put the link below. Please like my band page. Um, the name of the band is called War All The Time. Uh, we don't have any music yet, but just your support would be greatly appreciated, and um, it really helps a lot to have um, people who like you know your stuff in the beginning and help motivate and stuff like that. And I was just wondering if you guys have like five seconds in a Facebook to... I'll put the link below and just to go click there and like the page. Pretty please? pretty please okay so I don't like doing that but please <laughs> so um yes anyway without further ado let's talk about our relationships and being pagan <laughs> so she was talking about in her video to slowly make it like slowly ease them into it not just like set them down and say look I'm a witch and blah 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 because doing it that way in all honesty makes it kind of scary and kind of an uncomfortable experience so, if you do it, like she was saying, if you do it in a fun manner, then yes, it most definitely works and is a lot better. Like, I, I've been in relationships with Catholics, I've been in relationships with atheists and agnostic people, I've been in relationships with Christi Christians, and I even dated a Muslim once, and that was really actually interesting. Like, I learned a lot and it was really cool. But, um, to be honest, with you guys, like, people, some people are just not ready to hear about witchcraft and they don't think it's real and sometimes they really won't take you seriously. Like, um, one of the guys that I dated, he was, you know, he was very religious in an Abrahamic faith and I told him about my religion and he's like, oh, you know, that's, that's cool, you know whatever, like, he kind of just brushed it off like it was no idea, like, no problem, and, like, not important, and I wasn't okay with that, and when I tried to, um, you know, go about it in a kind of fun way, he's like, he's like, this isn't religion if it's fun, and just, he made it a bad experience, and honestly, Wicca and witchcraft is very important to me personally, therefore, if someone who I'm with doesn't um, at least respect that. They don't have to join with me, but it, if they don't respect that, then I will not be with them, and that's what it is for me, I mean, personally. But, you know, and even if, like, you're a guy and you have a girlfriend, um, I mean, to go and tell them, like, oh, you know, I'm pagan. Like, I suggest you guys, if you're gonna tell someone you're pagan, don't tell them you're pagan. Like, just right out the get-go, like, hey, I'm pagan. Um, but do paganish things, and if they're interested, they'll ask you. Like, I think that's the biggest thing, because you don't want to go out of your way to tell someone something unless it's, like, serious problem. Like, dude, like, you're not allowed to cheat. Kind of think that's really extreme, really bad example. But it's important to, you know, go to someone and, you know, make it fun, like make it a good experience because if you make it a painful experience, whenever you bring it up they're gonna want to avoid it because humans, the way our brains work is we try to avoid pain at all costs and that's just the way it is. So don't make it like jumping off a bridge and hitting rocks, okay? Make it like a fun flight for them to join you with, you know, and if they don't like it then you can land. Like, I don't know, just getting all poetic on your on you guys, so then nah, nah, nah. nah. So, in all honesty, make it a fun experience. And if they are not taking you seriously, then it's not someone you should be with anyway. Because if you have this extreme thing that you love so much, and they don't take it seriously, then other things that you love, they're not going to take it seriously. One of them even being the love that you have for them. So before it even gets to that point or gets to that issue and becomes this whole painful process, you should just make sure if they care about it or not and bring it up to them and if they bring it up to you, you know, explain it. And if they're like, oh, that's really cool, like I'm glad that you're in a religion, like I'm glad you're religious, I'm glad you have something that makes you feel connected, then awesome. 
But if they're gonna be like, oh, you funny witch, ha, huh? and then they like joke about being like, you know, in Hogwarts, like you don't want to be around someone like that. That's just first off, that's immature. Third, second, that's very rude, and three, it's just. It means that they're not going to respect you in general, so just go away, even if it's painful, you just need to leave it, like, honestly, just leave it alone, because you aren't going to be reciprocated. And same goes for them, how um, the Shoe Whisperer was mentioning, she was saying that if you, if they're into sports, you know, ask them about sports, and that's very, very true. Me, sports are the worst. I hate sports so much. But if the guy that I was with was really into sports, even if it was uncomfortable for me, I would put in the effort to try and learn things about it. Just because that's the kind of person that I am, like I do that. So, you know, relationships are about compromise and sacrifice and a lot of people don't get that. A lot of people are like, what can I get from this relationship? No, if you're thinking that way, the relationship will never last. You have to approach a relationship on how can I improve this person as a person like how can but don't be like you can't do this because it's bad and you're morally wrong because if you feel like that then y you should really just find someone who's more like you mm -hmm. sometimes people can be really really different and still get along but in my experiences if you're not similar enough it just it's hard it's like not even worth it sometimes even if there is a mutual attraction so that's my alarm. Give me a second. I'm back. Okay, so I had an alarm set because I have an essay to write and I was giving myself time and I don't need to explain myself. Okay, so, um, like I said, be very skeptical and don't force it on them. Make it a fun experience, you know, if you, say for Samhain, you know, Make them, like, something that is, like, Samhain related. Like, give them a present that's, like, Halloween, but, like, also, like, witchcrafty. Like, give them a candle that you made or give them incense that you made. Or if they don't even like that kind of stuff, then, like, you know, give them a little pumpkin, you know, with the funny face on it. With, like, the moon, with the triple goddess on the top of its head. Like, I don't know. Like, make something important and then if they see the symbol and be like oh what's that then you can explain it to them and explain why it's important to you and then if they're like oh wow that's really cool thank you I like if they're the right kind of person they'll be like wow thank you like I really appreciate that you're comfortable enough to share your religion with me and bring me into your life in such a way and if they're like that then don't let them get away because a lot of people are very selfish very very selfish and it makes me want to punch everyone in the face I'm just like Aah! I'm funny, okay, so, <laughs> sometimes I crack myself up, okay, but anyway, please just don't make it a bad experience, try and do exactly what the Shoe Whisperer said, which make it a fun way to do it, make it a good experience, and one that they'll enjoy rather than um, want to avoid, and like I said again, if you can like my band page, I, I'm gonna be ecstatic, and the link is in the bottom, and so, please. Okay, I'm going to stop begging you guys like a three-year-old. But seriously, that would really help me out a lot, and I'd really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, so I hope this helped. Um, any questions or comments about this, leave them below, and I will definitely help you out. Um, and until next time, blessed be, and bye.